Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Workshop. On my ongoing mission to sort out the mess that this workshop's in, I need to sort out the string and the tape that is everywhere. So let's get started. As this is just a shop project, I didn't want to spend any money on materials. So I just hunted around the workshop and found some scraps. It's mostly pallet wood I'm using for this, but nothing quite wide enough. So I jointed the edges on a couple of boards and laminated them together. I've been putting off sorting out this workshop for so long, but now I've started, I'm so pleased I have. I'd always come in here to make things to sell or for his gifts, and never make things for the workshop itself. I've always loved being in here, but now with every improvement I make, it makes it an even nicer working environment. And I think you could say it even makes financial sense, as being organised really increases the workflow and makes everything a lot quicker. Also, things like this rack will let me see what supplies I have to hand. I went through all my drawers and tubs and buckets and found every roll of tape I had. Does anyone really need six rolls of gaffer tape? Maybe serial killers, but I just don't have the time for that. From now on, I'll be able to see what I have to hand and won't buy any more. I know this is only a shop project and just made out of scraps, and I could knock something together and hold some tape in seconds but I still want it to look slightly nice. So I'm having the sides a bit taper from the small rolls of tape to the large and then rounding off the ends. It will look slightly more pleasing this way and also easier to remove the tape. I cut four shelves for this, all have slightly different widths of wood. I wanted the shelves to be angled so I determined what the angle would be, worked out about 22 degrees, and then cut that angle on the mitre saw. I then used that scrap to set the blade on the table saw, and cut a bevel on the end of each shelf. Now I can use that block of wood again to mark out where the shelves are going to go on the sides. The shelves are all going to get held in place with just some wood glue and a few brad nails. It's definitely not the strongest joint in the world, but it's only got to hold some rolls of tape. I think it'll hold up to the strain of that for years. I had some tongue and groove cladding left from when I made those planters last year. This will go on the back of the rack as my walls are quite uneven. It will also add quite a bit of strength. Instead of just trimming one length down so it fitted perfectly, I trimmed the groove off one end and the tongue off the other so it sit flush at the edges. This just gets put on with some wood glue and a few more brads to hold it in place. It all gets a quick sand before I think about how to attach the string to it. I didn't want to just put the string on the shelf because I thought it might fall off, so I thought I'd put some downs in the top and then the string could slip over them. These are just going to get held in place with some wood glue and some brute force. No, I'm not finishing this with golden syrup, it's just a tin I had. But I had a tiny bit of oak stain left, so I thought I'd use it up. And then give it all a coat of brown wax. The wax can then just be buffed off to a shine, giving it a bit of protection as well. Last thing is to add a couple of brass plates that can be attached to the back of my door. That's it all done. Starting to get neater all the time in here. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe for more videos.